Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Fishing Planet. And yes, I am not a Kaji no Ri. Thought I'd try a little something here, guys, because even though I still have some time there, I wanted to come here and see what I could do using sea gear. Because some of the fish that exist here are huge, especially here in the ocean part. Now, this isn't exactly ocean, it's more brackish water, but there are sharks and I was never able to get a trophy bull shark plus there's some monster catfish out here and well of course the arapaima but we are going to see just what we can get I mean the arapaima they you know they come up to 100 440 pounds and the bull, bull shark 440 pounds also so I would love to get a trophy I've not gotten one yet and the flat, not the flat whisker catfish. What is the other one? Oh yeah, the paripa, paripa. And I think the, yeah, the sore beam catfish or tiger catfish. And the trahira. These are all good sized fish, and they may be caught with trolling. And that's something I'm thinking about trying here, guys, because I have not been able to do that either. So, we can now. We have the rods. I think it should allow for trolling. If not, at least we can do some bottom fishing. So, let's jump in here and see what we can and cannot do. Let's put this away. That's kind of strange out here in a nice fancy hotel in the middle of the jungle. Alright, the Draco is allowed here. Those big ocean liners that I have are not. But I have to get to the appropriate location. And that may take me a minute, so guys, bear with me. I am going to be heading to the open brackish water area. It's going to take me a few minutes, but anyway, I will bring you back once I get there. Alright guys, we are actually here. And this is where things can, should start to get interesting. Now, like I said, I don't know that we, if we can troll for sure. Uh, be nice if we could. But, I don't know that we can or cannot. I'm going to just slow this thing down a bit. And we're going to see just what we can go after here. I don't see why we couldn't. Well, let me try it. Let me just try it, guys. Yeah, we're gonna have to use the trolling motor to make it happen, but... Well, it'll tell us one way or another here in a moment.
Uh, well, that wasn't exactly the one I wanted. <laughs> Put it across the bow. Alright, let's try... Uh, Alright, let's try this trophy double hook hook poker. Now that placed it the way I wanted. Alright, let's see what happens, guys. Oh, seriously? You cannot use trolling motor? Oh man. That sucks. Alright, let's see. And you cannot start engine. Well, no you cannot. You cannot troll. So, I guess we have to do it the old-fashioned way. But let me get back in here, because I think we need to, need to go a little bit further out just to make sure... fish down there deep. What markers do I have? Oh, wow. Okay. Bull shark, right ahead. Have a bull shark location. Here we have a sword of catfish location. A young bull shark location over here. And trophy pariba. Well, heck, I've already done myself a favor. Let's head towards that bull shark marker. And we'll try a few things. I'll throw some bottom rods out just to see if we get anything too. That way we keep ourselves kind of busy. Yeah, this is going to be fun. And what's going to be nice is we finally have gear that can really stand up to these guys. Yeah, last time I was here, all I had was a Tropicana. And that was not easy. This, this will stand the test. This will stand the test. Okay, we are almost there. We have fish in our radar. I keep wanting to say radar. It's not radar, I got it. Okay, I don't know that I can cast out that far, but we'll find out. a little bit closer. Yeah, that's better. Now let's anchor. I used to use let the shark pull me around. Shouldn't have to do that here, guys. Honestly. I have two markers there? I didn't realize I had two. Yep. Pull shark on this one. Young bull shark. So this is definitely a bull shark spot. Not sure if this is the best time of day for him, but we'll see. And we'll go ahead and throw some bottom rods out too. We're gonna use our big ones. We're not gonna mess around here, guys. We're gonna use dead lombari fish. I'm just gonna toss them out there too as well. Supposedly they go for them, but then so do the catfish, so...
And the Araku Minnow is another good one. I suppose we go for them as well. We'll toss them out in the same general vicinity. I hope that's not copyrighted. I've been dealing with copyright issues lately. In games yet. It's ridiculous. Yeah, in my Ultimate Fishing Simulator game, I had some a copyright issue with the music at the very end. And it's in the game, guys. I mean, really, what the heck? Okay, this is a poker I could try to use. I don't know that a sh bull shark will go for a pilger, but it's worth a shot. <laughs> Let me take a look at the shark just to make sure here. Now the Trahira, they go for Frogs, spinners. I don't think you're gonna find them out here, though. These are all obviously gonna be on the bottom. Silver arowana come huge here. They also go for the Erica minnows. Let's see. Bull shark. Swim baits, crank baits, minnows. Well. Let's see, this is giving me the best distance. Let's try a swim bait. Just to make sure. We do have some swim baits in here. I did make sure I picked some up. Got this. I believe I had a club series swim bait here. Yeah, let's try that. This is a little bit heavier. I'm not getting the best distance in the planet, but... We just keep a stop and go. Just see here. What did I catch them? Large minnows. I got late evening. Something tells me yeah, I got the got it with the dual swim bait, so that's a good sign. But I think I might need to move this boat a little bit closer so I can cast in the right general vicinity. Seriously? You're gonna make me do that, huh? Alright, fine. Yeah, we're still just a little bit too far. Also might cast these a little bit differently, because these tend to work better when you just lift them off the bottom. There are definitely fish down there, though. Now let's try moving the boat a little bit. Seemed like we were pretty close. I mean, I'm a little surprised. Okay. I don't want to get too close. I'm not seeing any, uh, anything off the bottom. Let's go ahead and grab these. We'll, we'll just toss these right 
off the edge here and let him go down to the bottom. Let's just do that. Just lift him off the bottom. It's not very deep. Two, do the same thing. Yeah, there are some deep areas that we might try later on, but I have a feeling these rods are going to be extremely useful. Alright, that. Let's try our swim bait, guys. Twitching. That's a little too fast. Oh, there we go. We got something. A trophy by Kuda. Went for that right off the bat. Not too bad. Easy peasy. Yeah, the club series ones that I've got seem to do really well. Almost like those trophy ones that you can get through the missions. There's definitely fish out there. Let's keep this let's keep going with this. That's the one that got him the last time. There we go, we got another one. Might be some of the same thing here. Let's see. No? Trophy? Butterfly Peacock Bass. With a sea rod. <laughs> that must be what we're seeing out there, guys. Which is... Kind of interesting. Yeah, the good thing about the Butterfly Peacock Bass is... They bite pretty much anytime. Even during the non-peak periods. We got some little bitty fish down there at the bottom. I don't know what the heck they are. I'm just wondering if it should be sent. Yeah. I just wonder if we should forward time a little bit. <laughs> Definitely might be worth our while. Now let's try it. Something went after it that gave up. It wasn't very big. Let's try this. Let's try throwing this right over here where those markers are. I'm 
gonna hurt anything. I'm just going to try float fishing because that's how I got him last time. But I'm going to use huge cut bait this time. Definitely a current. Getting a bite on this one. Yep, he's definitely on there. Let's see what we got here, guys. There we go, ripsaw catfish. Off the bottom rod, he was easy to get. Seriously easy. Throw that right there, too. That thing's kind of going all over the place. Well, that's a lively, lively little bait fish. And we got another bite. It's the second one. Got here another one? No. Nice. Yeah, I haven't got too many of these. They're Ori Noko Peacock Bass. That is awesome. Yeah, I've not seen these much before. I want to get a picture of him. That's a pretty little bass. Pretty little peacock bass. Mark him off my list. I like the red that's on him. I'm a little worried about that float rod. <laughs> It's looking a little bit like it might be taken off. I don't know. We're going to have to see here. I think that's just the bait fish swimming around, but still. This is shark territory, so... Might be safer just to use the cut bait, because... I don't remember what depth I had tried with the shark. I'm going to have to definitely look up my old video. Like I said, it's been a few years since I've been here, honestly. I do know that when one comes, you're going to see a lot of water swell around it.
There's actually a couple of... So I really wish I could use the gutted fish. It says it's too heavy. And that's frustrating. But I might be able to use that with the bottom rod. I'll take on a heavy... Yes, yeah, it says extra, extra L. And this is an equator match. I mean, we're talking... Probably one of the heaviest float rods we have here. I bought this just to see if something might be interested in it. I don't know that it will be or won't be. It says... There's nothing that says that they go for it, but... It might be worth a try. There's a bunch of new ones I've never tried. This Woodwing Grasshopper, that's a new one. Apparently the Trahira, the Apapa, the Jacunda, the Kuda, Serva Arowana, I'll go for that. Let's try this. Let's... I thought I got some sardines. But I don't see them. Yeah, here they are. Amazonian sardines. That's a fairly new one. I'm going to go a little bit deeper this time. Now this may be an active little animal too. I'm not sure. Ah, shoot. I hate when we get a lag spike like that. Yeah, it is alive. It's definitely swimming around. Right, I'm gonna give it a little bit of line here. <clears throat> Switch this out for now. I'm gonna I'm gonna try the gutted fish on this. Definitely need to keep an eye on that. Because if you look at gutted fish, it specifically says grouper, shark, big catfish. And since it's such a heavy thing, I don't think it's going to work with float fishing very well. So I'm going to toss this right over here. We'll see if something... I wanted... Yeah, I wanted to try the... Huge cut bait here. Find it. Where did it go? Here it is. I still think. Let's try a little shallower. Maybe that's the, the issue. I don't know. What these darn things prefer. Like I said, it's been a while. This time it's just current, so I don't have to be fooled by the bait. This is just the current taking it. Oh my goodness, guys. We are definitely getting a bite off this one. And this looks a little bit bigger than what we were getting. Oh, new personal record! There's another fella. Yeah, I didn't... I think I only caught maybe one or two of those last time I was here. There's 71 different types here. That's even more than it was in the ocean. I'm really interested in... seeing what I could knock off on this. Now, 
obviously we're gonna still go back to the ocean, but this definitely opened up some options here, having this larger gear. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, something's going for it, something's going for it, look at it guys, something is going for it. Come on, do it, do it. Please don't quit on me, man. It, I think it quit on me. God bless it. Might want to try getting the swim bag. That's not what I wanted to do. Here it is. Let's try throwing this. Wait a minute. It was right over here, wasn't it? Let's try throwing that out because that was most likely a shark. Judging from the swell on the water, I'm a bad guy. Okay, we got something on the gutted, and it is big. It is much bigger. All right, now we got something to talk about. Now we got something to talk about. We've got us a shark. Yes, it works. <laughs> gutted. Fish works. And we've got a rod that can pull this guy in. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, we're gonna need a net for him. There we go, guys. Ha <laughs> ha, young bull shark. 9440. That just paid for our licensing right there. Holy crap, yes, that was fun. That was fun, and now we know how to do it. Let's get a picture of him. Oh, this is young, guys. This is a young shark, okay? Young shark. <laughs> He's a baby. He's just a little baby. Isn't he cute? One of the most... Well, actually, this is the most dangerous shark in the world. Everybody thinks the Great White's so dangerous. Actually, it's only like third or fourth. The bull shark has caused more attacks on humans than any other shark. One of the biggest reasons is they're not afraid of anything. They eat everything. And they can travel in brackish and even fresh water. That is a nice looking specimen right there. Yes. Now we're talking. Yeah, I wish I could get the float rod to do that. I think I might put the gutted fish on the other one too, but I am kind of curious to try something, like I said. Grouper go for the lobster. I thought maybe a mutant lobster might get get a shark's attention. You never know. I mean, maybe it won't, but maybe it will. I mean, what's what's the harm in it, right? Q 
keep doing that. I had a certain my rods in certain places in a certain manner, and now it's keep getting things confused. All right, we're gonna try this dual swim bait. Something coming after that? Oh, I just got another. Another Ornico Peacock Bass. Yeah, you see what I mean by the swells, though? Yeah, it's something you don't see in the ocean when because the water's too rough. All right, we got us another one on the uh, good fish. At least trying. Yep, we got another one, guys. Let's see. We got. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my goodness. It's a big one. Oh, this is going to be so fun. This is so fun. Big old shark. I really wish they put sharks in the ocean map. I really do. Kaji no Ri map. I really, really wish they did. Some kind of shark. Maybe they will eventually, but... Probably another young one, but I don't care. Yep. He's not quite as big as the last one, but... Might be able to get a better picture, because the sun's actually out this time. Let's see if we can get a better picture here. Yeah, that's better. Now, he's a little bit smaller. You want to call it small. Yeah, this is fun. <laughs> this is fun. Yep, the gutted fish, guys. That's what you need to go for. That's what's getting them. Use your bottom sea rods. You don't have to let them pull you around the boat. Put more than one rod out. Can't knock that. Looks like you can't beat that with a stick or whatever the people say. <laughs> oh, there we go. I think we got another Bicuda. Another trophy Bicuda. Yeah, let me change that one. I don't think they're going to go for that. I thought I'd give it a shot. We're going to put another gutted fish on there. I'm going to throw it right over here. Are you kidding me? Again? Oh, it's all, all the one I just threw in there. Holy crap, okay. Yeah, we've got... we got a good one. We've got a good one. I think it's another young one, but still... I just... Just put that out there. Crap. Oh, new personal record. This is a full-size bull shark, guys. 25,894 cash. 245 pounds. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Let's get a 
Holy crap, this is wonderful. Yes. Now we're talking. Bull Shark. 88.6 inches, 245.595 pounds. This is a fish. This is a fish. I can't even see my head. I, if I turn, I can. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, I can't get a good shot with both of us. <laughs> that is a beautiful animal. Personal best. So I've already beat my first record. And it didn't take any time using this gear. No time at all. Gutted fish made a difference. I'm gonna throw the huge cut bait out there and see if that does anything. Now, if I get it on this, I may have a difficult time. Because this is not as heavy. This is, uh, They don't have any float rods for the ocean, apparently. They should. You'd think that it would make sense to have them. But, nope. No, pretty much trolling rods. And... Bottom rods only. Actually, before I do anything, I am going to mark that last fish. The last shark. He was right there. I think I already had one there, but it was for a young one. Yeah. That was, yeah, it's been three years. It was 5 7 20, 21. And I did get it with the dual swim bait, so. They're definitely there. Well, there we go. And a pop, I went after it. That's not bad. I haven't had a shark go after it, even though. <laughs> Just the smaller ones. Aha! We have another one. It's this one. We know that it's most likely a shark. Yes, sirree! Or a really, really big catfish, but I don't think it's a catfish. It's definitely a shark. Yep. Definitely a shark. Here we go, guys. Come on. Now the young one. Yep, another young bull shark. We are definitely making us some cash. This is the biggest of the young ones we've caught. At 176 pounds. 78.7 inches. We're getting some XP this way, too. I'm gonna throw this one a little bit further out. I did see some swelling out a little further. Let me get that other dual swim bay. Maybe I need to try a blue one or something. Alright, we are going to get a different dual bait here. This is a much larger one. 
This is a dual swim bait, two and a half ounce, eight aught. Much bigger hook. Maybe this will give me more of a shot of getting a shark. They're definitely there, but there's lots of other fish there too. The other dual baits were too small. The hook size, I think. Oh, did you see that? Is that a freshwater dolphin? I think it was. I forget what they call those. Other than freshwater dolphin, but they do have a name. That was beautiful. That's new. They never had that before. It keeps acting like something's hitting it, but isn't able to actually take it. And if it's a shark, it's going to take it. So it's probably a smaller fish. There we go. We definitely got another one. Holy crap. Okay, he's... He's making a run for it. Let's see. Ooh! Okay, this is a big, big one. This is a big one. This may be what we're after, guys. This could be our trophy. This could be our trophy, man. Yep, this is like fighting something in the ocean here. And you gotta remember, this is a sea rock, guys. This is great. Yeah, I think we might have our trophy. This is... Finally. We did not get one before, and... I really wanted to at least try and come in and see if I could pull it off. Let's net him. No, he's just a young one. 176 pounds. Well, shoot, I thought there for a minute we had a trophy. That would have been nice. We will get one. It may not be here, but we will get one. It may not be this time. And I'm going to keep our edit. With this gear, I'm going to be able to pull it off, finally. Without a doubt. Yeah, I'm just about done here, guys. We're going to have to... <laughs> going to have to call this and an episode I never got to call it an episode anyway because we don't have a choice we are actually holding too much fish you see that yep 952 pounds of fish <laughs> oh man <laughs> well, let's take a look and see what we got here in our fish keeper we have got we got quite a few different things too. Got an Apapa. Got that with the Club Series Swim Bait. We got these Orin or Orinoco Peacock Bass. I'm not sure if that's pronounced right. Orinoco Peacock Bass. We only got the common size. But we got three of them. And that's not bad. And we got a Butterfly Peacock Bass. Then we got a couple of Bicudas, two trophy ones. And... Then we got this ripsaw catfish off the dead Lombari fish. But check it out. 
five sharks. All off the gutted fish. All off the gutted fish. And I used, uh... Well, let me make sure, make sure I've got this right here so I don't tell you wrong. Uh... Yeah, I used the saltwater curved hooks and I also used the capping hooks, both of which at about an 8-odd. They did perfectly fine. I'm not sure how big we can go with them. I'm sure you could probably go bigger. I don't think it's going to be a much of a problem. But we did get one regular sized bull shark. It was a record for me. So we can check the record book here and see just where he places. Because he knocked the old one off, I'm sure. Well, it may not pop up in there until... Yeah, it hasn't popped up in there yet. That's the, uh... I think that's the older ones. Look at that, I'm just missing it. He was 245 pounds. There he is. He was right on the unique dog tooth tuna. But above the sturgeon leviathan. So, he's up there. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And we will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. I don't think we'll be coming back here this time. I think I will probably go back to Kaji no Ri. But we definitely paid for everything that we did needed to do here. Anyway guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye bye.